And we are back. On this episode, we will be talking about my cylinder head and of course, my intake manifold, the extensively ported Skunk 2 with the 70 millimeter throttle body. And of course, why the spacer and the design and principles of it. And of course, this one, what we're all anxious about. The CBR based ITB that we fabricated to work for a single overhead cam for my engine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We modified the flange. This, this came from a sock. And of course, like I said, we'll extensively talk about my intake, throttle body spacer, the design, and the goal. And don't you want to know what it is? <laughs> First thing, our Facebook page, or the shop page, I mean, is up and running and it's gonna be linked in the description below. And it's got, it's a new page because the old one is non-functional because my personal Facebook account got hacked. And so I tried to put some daily good stuff here. And of course, eventually I'll start sharing measurements and specifications of deck height. This way, it becomes more interesting for a lot of us to like and follow it because they will always have critical information when we need it or we want to read about good stuff and updates on the shop. So like and follow guys the page. I'll see you there. So let's go, let's go. And link will be in the description below. Okay, now. Here we have my D16A6 head that I've cleaned up. And now let's look into the ports. Let's go, let's go. And now with proper lighting, you can see it's extensively ported way more than the PM3 that we did on the, on the other video that we showed you guys. But it's still not totally hogged out. As you can see before the valve seat or the throat, you can see the core shift is still there. It's not totally removed because if I remove that, I just skew the sizing to really wrong. And here is a picture. You can see even the casting marks on the side is already totally gone because we've ported it a little bit bigger. And because the goal here is actually maximum power, this is what we did. And you can check on this one. There will be a description below of the PM3 video of the porting video we did. And you can check on that. This is the same casting, but this one is ported differently. Okay, now here is the template intake gasket we made. It's written JBLL MXM. I actually did this before a year or two before the channel. And that's the initials of my ex. I codenamed this engine after her whatever guys okay anyways let me bring in the other head the other pm3 that i was porting that i made the video of and let me show you guys something about gasket matching why we don't do that okay wait let me grab the head sorry 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 it's kind of heavy with one hand all right there you go this is the pm3 that we ported it looks really good right and let me grab here the oem intake gasket oem okay there you can see this is already ported well mildly but look at the how, how the intake gasket is like misaligned every single port not just all together they're all in different directions you can see here you can see look at that jump that's huge but a little bit more on the right than the left here, there's a little bit even more to the right than the left, right? So if you're gonna port match this, you're just gonna twist the port of the wrong direction. Here is also misaligned. And the last one, so when you think about it, if even after you do extensive work on the head, if you gasket match it this way, it's just gonna throw it off. Like it, it's beside the point, right? Now onto the interesting stuff, the intake manifold, my Skunk 2 ported intake manifold. Okay, it has a 70 millimeter throttle, a spacer, and to the plenum. So the thing here is it's 70 millimeter on the throttle and then it tapers here to 66 and then opens up to 68 before the plenum. This way it's a Venturi. 
Can you picture that? Here I drew on top of it and you can see the throttle is 70 millimeter and then the red part is the spacer which contracts to 66 millimeter and then opens up again to 68 millimeter. This way it becomes a Venturi. Of course some would always say or use the throttle as the Venturi and all that but this is different because my principal theory here is sure at 50% throttle the 70 millimeter plate pushes x amount of cfm more than a 60 millimeter and even in full throttle but of course it also passes through this velocity stack or venturi further filling up the plenum really good before the engine ingests on each runner so that's going to be more efficient, right? And that's what I'm going for. That's why there's something I'm keen to dyno test on. And it's here. Let's look at the Venturi, as I mentioned earlier. You can see there, that's a Venturi to further fill up the plenum. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to move this at this angle here. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to move this here. And let me show you the drawing once again to help you visualize what I'm trying to show you okay here we are you can see the throttle is 70 millimeter and then the venturi contraction is 66 millimeter and then it opens up to 68 millimeter into the plenum this makes it a good or decent venturi that actually would try to fill the plenum really well or really good this way each runner when the cylinder ingests air it's properly filled up that's my attempt of exceeding a hundred percent volumetric efficiency i'm trying here and that's because the engine has 13.2 is to one compression so it'll suck in air at the same time the cams is level 2.x from bisimoto so we know that will work good and of course the intake the intake pipe the throttle body radius inlet would help all the way. And so this is why I'm sharing this because, you know, you'll see people post when they make good power. And then if you ask them, they'll just say they use the Skunk 2 intake manifold and a 70, 70 millimeter throttle body. That's it. When there's a lot of things going on between just those two parts. And that's always what they post. They just post the worst power. Hey, those are your Facebook heroes, right? So that's why we're sharing all the details. Because when we hit our goal, we didn't even talk about horsepower. We're just trying to hit 13 seconds. You will know what we did. Because, you know, we've seen a lot of those horsepower claims. But we never see the run any good times. So, hey this time at least when we run 13 seconds regardless of horsepower we know it's working and we it's probably gonna make more than what we expect and hopefully i'm hoping for that you know and of course now you can see the itb after we reach 13 seconds the goal is then we start installing the itb and take you guys on the quest of how we tune it how to get the idle properly with all the proper vacuum lines and all that so hey it's gonna be fun right and the reason why i mentioned all that is because locally i hear people asking me what's a good size throttle body is a y8 or a z6 intake better than the other and my answer is always the same it depends it depends on the whole engine or the whole setup you have to factor in the whole setup or the whole system including what kind of header or exhaust you run or you run it's not like a lego that you can just piece by piece choose the best ones from other friends and whatnot and expect the same thing you can build two identical setups it'll both perform differently from one another so what do you guys do take it to a place that knows what they're doing those that, that don't all just all talk but they also walk the walk a shop like us you know all right now before we go to the itb let's look at this further the intake remove the throttle the 70 millimeter cast throttle and we'll look at this closer the spacer and you can see it's a perfect venturi yes the jbll mxm written throttle body gasket yes sir you see there's a venturi that's 66 millimeter up the center the vena contracta and then it opens up to 68 before the plenum this way it's a really really good venturi right you can see up there you can see it's a venturi yes sir okay wait let's look at it again you can see the taper if you start looking at it from the top see it's tapering really really good right so hey Hopefully this surprises all of us, including me, when it makes power. 
yes sir and you can see here as i showed you earlier we have a custom intake gasket gasket we cut the one to match the head this way we can perfectly port match it to the intake manifold and it's only in the upper right corner there's a slight off center but that's tiny it doesn't make much of a difference yes sir that's good and now this oh yeah it came from a cbr so it's a 42 millimeter plate throttle body or itb we adapted it we cut off a ph12 flange this way it's gonna be good well it's not really a ph12 flange it's it's a sock because it has an injector um boss it's from an esi yes sir all right now you can see it's tapering really good we're gonna run the injectors from up far up top and then the stock injector boss we're gonna put the vacuum nipple or fitting so that it goes, goes to the vacuum log for the map sensor and we'll talk about that when we install this we're gonna guide you guys on what we did or what we do yes sir you can see the more details on this is that the velocity stack base is about 48 millimeter the velocity stack opening is around 58 millimeter but then the throttle plate is 42 millimeter and the runner is 42 millimeter then it tapers to the port shape itself so there is consistent and good taper all around so we know this might actually work really really good and i won't estimate power on this until I get the Dino the Skunk 2 intake manifold, then I'll tell you the numbers or the estimate I have for this because I built this with the Skunk 2 in mind and the engine, so it's a match. And now a closer look at the ITB, you can see the welds here. We cut off an ESI or I can't remember if it's an ESI or a VTI flange, but I think it's an ESI, yes, and welded the runners. All right, and this is just specifically or especially for find the right beat because he's going to be stoked about this. Okay, the actual ITB length is actually 9.5 inches from the stack opening to the flange. So this way it's 12.75 inch total rotor length from stack opening to valve. And then the plate is 5 inches, so that's 8.25 inches total. So that's 12.75 inches rotor length or 323.85 millimeter total length. And 8.25 inches or 209.55 millimeter total. And some won't realize they except for find the right beat, but this 12.75 inches involves the harmonic tuning or a second order or third harmonic you gotta tune by by the rpm and this one the 8.25 inches is volumetric or sorry uh intake tracked volume that's gonna involve how much power it has potential and that's kihin right that's that's japan at cbr and also here the closer you have the fitting or the vacuum source to the valve the higher signal you get so that's gonna make it easier for us to tune this with a regular map sensor and we're gonna talk about that when we start using or installing this itb so you know it's gonna be all fun and of course testing out the stock po8 intake and then the ported one in the discount too Ooh, you gotta subscribe right and of course click here for the next one